Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Zpro and the title of this video is How to remaster old audio files into audible quality audio files. So on the screen you see the entrance of a club that is not existing anymore, created somewhere in the 80s. They closed down, I think, somewhere mid 90s, but they had some really good DJs playing there. I found some nice tracks on YouTube, like this one, for example. This is a very old audio track that was recorded back in 1993. But unfortunately, they used those very old tape recorders, analog tape recorders. And I have to say, the quality of the music, which was great music, great electronic music, is not so good, uh, unfortunately. And just old uploaded this really bad audio quality to YouTube. And of course, if you download everything to back again to an MP3 file, which you can do, of course, you just look on the internet, YouTube to MP3, you can retrieve again the music, maybe with some loss, you know, and uh, bring it back into an MP3 file. But of course, the negative point is that the quality of the audio is really bad and um, for some months now I'm trying to find a tool you know to have some better quality of, of these files but until now I didn't succeed to find any software yet. Yesterday I figured something out uh, while I was editing some videos I saw that in Sony Vegas and I'm going to open Sony Vegas. You have the possibility to rework the audio files. So in this case, for example, I just imported that Balmoral MPEG-3 file into my Sony Vegas Pro. And, you know, I started to play around a little bit with uh, the audio FX. And incredible but true. I was able to convert and to remaster that very old bad quality, you know, like AM bad quality uh, audible files into a remastered file and with a huge success. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you step by step how to remaster these very old audio files, which were probably recorded before the year 2000 rework these files and to remaster it and have a very good and quali high quality uh, audio file back again. I've played around with it here in Sony Vegas and I have to tell you guys I found a really good setting. So what you do, you just take your mp3 file, if it is with a video uh, attached no problem, um, if you have only the, the audio file, you just import the file into uh, Sony Vegas. And for those who just who already work with Sony Vegas, they know how to do it very quickly. If you don't, I'm going to explain to you. So you go to all media, you just import your media file, put it in here and you just drag into the timeline. So this is the timeline here. Okay, when once you have done this, you have imported your old audio file, and now what we're going to do is we're going to rework it. So the first thing you have to do is you just click here on this icon, which is called Track FX. So it applies audio effects to all audio events or on on the tracks. So what you in fact do, you're going to rework the crappy quality audio track and we're going to remaster it so that we have a really nice quality uh, file and quality audio track that you will see later on. Uh, I'm going to 
make you listen to the original audio track I have here from Balmoral and after that I'm going to play the remastered version. <laughs> Okay, 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 guys, this was remastered version. Okay, follow my instructions now. Click on this icon. These are the audio track effects. These are the effects you can apply to your audio file. Click on this icon and you will see the plugin chooser. So these are all the plugins that Sony Vegas provides in the package you have a lot of them you have delay distortion din dynamics equalization noise gate etc etc okay so there are really a lot of them and you have to choose the same as i choose so you follow the same steps as i do here in the video every time I press on an effect, you just pause and you copy everything. So for example, on the left you see the track noise gate, you have to go back in YouTube and put it on pause. Here now I am already on track EQ, you just pause and you use exactly the same settings that I use to remaster my audio file. So I will give a little bit music here and go ahead and copy all of the settings to your system. Okay guys, great. 
by applying OMR settings you have just transformed a crappy audio file into a crisp and clear audio file so great job great job so now we have to render the file so you go to file render as and you use the mp3 audio output format you use 320 kbps and you render okay super now your file has been rendered and we're going to play back your file so to play back your file I use Winamp now Winamp has a great tool it's called a DSP plugin now the plugin is called Timea stereo tool you have to download this tool you go to the Winamp website and you download this tool as you can see it looks very fancy okay so how do you go to apply the tool into Winamp you click on the right bottom of your mouse you go to options preferences and you go to plugins DSP effect so there you see Timeo tool 8.14 and you apply it you open it so now here you have the stereo tool now the stereo tool is a great option it just creates a crisp and clear audio output of your remastered audio file now I use the settings 170106 so you have to go on Google and look for 170106.sts yes that's the extension of these settings okay once you downloaded the file you go to load all settings and you use the 170106.sts now this is the final settings you have to do you just load it and right now you have an incredible crisp clear fully remastered audio file coming from a crappy cassette music file to a crisp and clear audio music file so again we're going to play the difference and um, yeah thank you for watching my video and hopefully We'll see each other again later on. Bye-bye.